what's up y'all thanks so much for clicking on the video my name is leah and let's talk about real housewives of potomac reunion looks so the reunion looks were posted yesterday and it had everybody <laughs> it, it was a buzz it was a buzz on the internet so let's talk about it so it looks like the reunion theme was different shades of blue and so we're gonna talk about it. I'm excited to talk about it. I think nobody looked egregiously bad, but we we saw a few outfits where we was like, girl, what was you thinking? So let's get into it. The first person up is Miss Jacqueline. So Miss Jacqueline, I would give Jacqueline a six. So the dress isn't bad, but it's serviceable. It's giving very much like, I didn't know that I got invited to the reunion, so I ran to the nearest Belks or JCPenney's heck even macy's ran to the prom section found the cutest outfit that i thought would you know be it for this reunion and put it on her makeup looks nice um i don't like her pink lip but i do think her hair looks really pretty i just feel as though she could have came harder like i think about when a scala was on the reunion for that short period of time and everyone was like wow they like wow they only put her on the reunion for five minutes but everyone thought she looked lovely and I feel like you gotta make an impression. And my only reason I feel this way is because we might never see Jacqueline again. Like if you think about it, if Mia doesn't come back, then what's the point of having Jacqueline around? And even if Mia is still on for next season, if Mia does not want to engage with Jacqueline or finish this storyline about rekindling their friendship, then there's no point to Jacqueline. So I just feel like she could have just came a little bit harder. So a six is what she gets. So next is Miss Shasha. I would give this outfit a six. The same reasons why I gave Jacqueline a six, mainly because it's not bad, but it's serviceable. Like it's not bad, it's not good, it's like in the middle. Because it's like, okay girl, you ain't been at a reunion since season three, but you got to come harder. You gotta come a little, was she there season three? I don't even think she was there season three. I think she only had two reunions. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of grace because she's only done two reunions and that was back um, a couple of years ago. So it's kind of like, okay, times change, um, aesthetic and style change, but it's serviceable. Like, and I don't understand people saying she looks stuffed when I'm like, have y'all not seen women with big titties? Like, especially when you wear a good bra, they get hoisted up like that. She looks fine to me. I mean, I think the little cutout on the side is cute. It's giving, you know, really New Year's Eve gala for the like 45 and plus club. You know, I'm showing a little bit, but not a lot. The slit is in the right place. It's just, it's not giving what it should give. And same with her, I feel as though like I said about Jacqueline, we might never see you again, even though I feel like we are we will see Sharice again because Sharice is always there, but you could give more, just in case you might not be seen again. Like, like come into the scene and shut it down, especially with the girls giving her the title Queen of Potomac. You got to show you the queen, sis. You got to show them that. So a six is what she gets. So next we have Miss Mia. I would give Mia a seven. I would give me a seven. I like the bodice. I think that's the best part of the dress. The lower part of the dress, I don't get it. I don't get why you got to slit in front of your hoo-ha like that. And the only reason why I say that is because they go to these reunions and they are there for like 10 to 11 hours. Like they are there all day. And I'm just like, there's only but so long you can sit like a lady without people seeing, like getting a, a front row seat to your, to your parts, you know? So I just feel like, girl, why is that there? Why is that there? I think, like I said, the best part about this outfit would be the bodice. I think it looks lovely on her. The girls is sitting, but I feel like there's something missing from this dress for me to be like, oh, to give it a higher score. Like something's off. Like I like it, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know if she needed to add jewelry, but then again, I don't see a lot of the women wearing jewelry like that. So I don't know if that was um, production telling them that like clashes with the, uh, what's it called? The cameras and the lighting, but I need more. I need more. So a seven she got. So next is the light bulb headed fiend herself, Miss Ashley. I gave this an eight. Like her body looks amazing. Like her body looks amazing. Um, but it ain't much to critique, it's just, a uh, uh, drool encrusted bra with 
with some fabric at the end. <laughs> I mean, that's about it, that like her body looks great, but it's not, it's not giving what I like. It's not, there's nothing to critique. It is giving very much like ballroom dancer. Like, I think a lot of people are like, um, she looks like she could be one of the extras on that show, so you think you can dance. Is that what it is? No, Dancing with the Stars. That's what it's called. She looks like she could, this would be an outfit she would wear on Dancing with the Stars. I could see her wearing that. And it looks pretty, but it's like, it ain't much to critique. It really ain't much to critique. Um, I think this hair choice or this color hair is actually very pretty on her. Like this dark hair brings out like, it makes her face look warmer. And I am like, cause we're not used to that. We're always used to seeing Ashley's hair like light brown, almost slightly blonde ish a little bit but this is lovely like her this hair color is lovely and i like her makeup but there's nothing to critique i gave her an eight because it's very different than what we've seen her wear all throughout each reunion since season one all right y'all so next we have dr wendy osefu i gave her an 8.5 i know y'all are shocked be bewildered and probably throwing tomatoes at me but don't click the video off <laughs> I don't know y'all this outfit just ain't hitting for me like she looks beautiful don't get me wrong she is very like dr wendy is gorgeous she is very beautiful but there's something about this that just does not it's not doing it for me the way a lot of people have put her as their um best dress i think there's something missing like maybe and, and it might be the color like everybody else has been in like very like distinct blue outfits. Maybe I was just expecting more blue. I feel like if this was a lot more blue, like there wasn't white where the skirt is or where the bodice was, it would be better. But it's just not hitting for me the way it's hitting for y'all in the Potomac streets, okay? I think she's gorgeous because I always, I've always thought she was beautiful. Um, it's just, it's just not hitting for me. I think the best she has ever looked to me is the um, last reunion look. Last reunion look, Oh, she was that girl for me. I thought she looked beautiful. This is it's nice, but it's not doing it for me. My bad. Next is the grand dame herself, Miss Karen Huger. I gave her the same score as Wendy in 8.5. When I saw this, I was like, okay, this is cute. This is chic. But lately, that's all Karen's dresses have started to look the same to me at the reunions. Since um, season five and six, she's been doing a lot of off the shoulder outfits and I'll post them up so you can see them. But I do think she looks beautiful. I like her hair and her makeup. I think Karen has the best hair and makeup throughout the entire cast for this uh, reunion look. But I'm like, okay, Karen. I mean, you look royal, you look regal, but it's not, it's not given. That's the thing, y'all. It's not like, I'm doing this based off of my reaction when I first saw the outfits coming out. And the next couple of ones, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you, I'll tell you what I said the first time when I saw it. But when I saw Karen, I was like, oh, this is really beautiful on her. But I wasn't like, oh my gosh. I was just like, okay, grand dom giving us what the grand dom normally gives us. So it was cute. So I gave it an 8.5. So next is Miss Robinita Dixon. I gave Robin a nine. I'm not even gonna lie, when I saw her in this dress, I was like, wow. Like my initial reaction was like, oh my gosh, she look expensive. <laughs> like she looked gorgeous. I was like, whoa. I was like, okay, girl. And the only reason why she didn't get a 10 for me is her hair. I feel like her hair needs to be up, like in a, like a updo but she looked amazing. This blue on her skin tone is lovely. Like I said, okay, Robin. And this is a major, a, a colossal step up from what Robin normally gives us. And I'ma feed in her reunion looks. But this right here, Robin looks chic. She look expensive. She look good, okay? So you get a nine, sis. You're looking good. So now on to Miss Candice Dillard Bassett. Miss Candy Girl, y'all, I gave Candace a 9.5. She was the best dressed to me. And it was solely based off of my reaction when I saw her outfit. When I saw this picture hit my timeline, the way she was leaned up against that pink piano with that blonde streak in front of her hair and the way that dress was bellowing out, I said, oh girl, you came to play no games. No games, and I am here for it. I said, you're looking good. You're looking like money. You're looking pretty. I was so like, I said, okay. I said, this pose is letting me know 
You came to the reunion ready. You came to the reunion on ready. And I hope I see it. I hope I see all of it. Cause I said, when I saw this y'all, I was, I was like, okay. I'm already gonna tell y'all, Robin and Candace were the best dressed to me. Like I, when I saw both of their pictures hit my timeline, I said, oh, Okay, we we coming with a different type of energy to this reunion. I was I was like, okay, okay. The only reason why I couldn't give Candace a ten is the um the bodice that the flowers are on, the construction of the flower. I wish that was blue. If that was like a either the same color blue as the feathers or in a like a an offset color to that, like another type of blue, but that wasn't as deep as those feathers. Yo. It would have been a hundred. She would have got a hundred out of me. A ten, a, a ten out of ten out of ten. But even with that, she still looks lovely. And then watching her walk with the dress, I said, okay. I said she came to play no games, and I know it's gonna look good sitting down. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's get to Giselle, cause my God, today. <laughs> oh, Miss Giselle, First Lady Bryant. I gave this a six. <laughs> And the reason why I gave this a six is because this is a step up for Giselle. Now I promise y'all when I first saw this outfit, I was screaming. I cackled so loud that I know for a fact my neighbors were like, what's going on with her? Because I was like, what is this? <laughs> but as I kept looking at it and like people suggested online, had Giselle taken away the rhinestones where the bodice area was, this would be a totally different outfit. And someone even did that. And I'll feed that picture in. And then it elevates this dress to a seven. Because honestly, this is a step up for Giselle. And that's why I gave it a six. Because if you look at her other reunion looks, this is a different silhouette. And it is Giselle, it kind of looks like Giselle is trying to like step it up a little bit more. And I'll feed in the reunion looks as well. So I gave this a six. I'm also gonna play Messy Miles video because, and y'all should check him out. He is hilarious. Check him out, like if he has the same name for all his social media. But he made a TikTok video of where he edited Giselle's dress where she had like a deep V and the slit was in a different place and the outfit looked 10 times better. I have to fix it. Giselle, you, you just make the Lord so mad. You just make him so mad. You look like a napkin ring. Why you got all these diamonds on? Why you do too much? You do too much, but you did so little with this split. This childish ass split. Oh my God. But you, I tried to fix it for you, Shook. You know, I brought your split all the way up. You was fine, okay? You was a bad bitch. Show off the thigh. Motherfucker split all the way down here. Girl, grow up. That was Messy Mouse, so y'all check out his content. He's hilarious to me. So that's the thing. I don't think the people that Giselle employs know how to edit her because you have other people online saying, you know what, if you take the rhinestones away from the bodice, it's 10 times better. And like I said, that bumped it up to a seven for me. Then you have Messy Miles making his own edit where she has a deep V and the slit is higher. And I'm like, that gives the outfit a solid eight. So it's like, I don't know whoever is making these garments or dressing her or her herself knows how to edit because that's the issue. Now the memes that were coming out about her, I died, came back to life, died again, and came back to life again. The best one I saw was that she looked like a Christmas tree ornament. Everybody was comparing her to a Power Ranger. Then someone said she got on that outfit that people wear in the green screen. People was wilding. Everybody was wilding. But I don't think she looks that bad. I would definitely give her a six. I saw that someone was like, here's a pic, pic of Kim K. And Kim K had on the same outfit, but just in black. And it was a cat suit. And I was like, oh, I see where Giselle was trying to go. But even with Kim K's outfit, she didn't have all those rhinestones. It was tapered down. And I think that's what Giselle was missing. Then someone was shopping around a picture of Karen's head on the outfit. And the people liked it a lot more. But I also think that's because people don't like Giselle so they're biased and I did think the outfit looked nice on the edit of Karen's head on Giselle's body the issue is it like it looked age appropriate for Karen but not Giselle so that's why I feel like there was something that needed to be edited I also feel like this outfit is giving what what somebody with new money would think rich highfalutin people would wear 
it's it's a little off but what made me honestly like everybody's outfit was the picture of the cast together at the reunion and i said you know what nobody looks horrible where i'm just like wow you look totally out of place everybody looked nice to a certain extent now you did have standouts but everybody looked nice to a certain extent so i enjoyed it so let me know your thoughts below and give your critiques remember to be bravely authentic and i'm out y'all deuces